So today's video, we are going to be making these little voodoo dolls. They are um, from the from the head to the arms to the body to the feet are 100% no sew. And then you just have to do whatever embroidering that you feel like doing. Um, you can use a button for the eye or um, if you have a larger safety eye, you can also use that. Um, I don't think there's anything you need to know special for materials. Yarn, hook, um, darning needle and scissors. And just match your yarn to your uh, a couple sizes or your hook a couple sizes down from your yarn and you should be good to go. Okay, let's get started. To begin, we are just going to make a loop as if we were going to start a chain. We just wrap it around your finger, down and through. We're going to be putting six single crochets in there. So make it about just a little bigger than your hook. And we're going to put our, our hook in the loop, grab the yarn, pull through, and just do one chain to secure our yarn to our loop. And that does not count as a stitch. So for round one, we're going to do six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab your stitch marker if you're using one and I'm just using a piece of thread. And for round two we're going to do six increases so that'll be two <clears throat> excuse me stitches in every stitch around. So first increase one and two Increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten, and our last increase. 11 and 12. Flip your stitch marker and for round three we are going to be doing one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18 and we'll repeat that all the way around. So one increase two and three Then repeat that sequence. Four, five, and six. Seven. Increase eight and nine. Ten. Increase eleven and twelve. Thirteen, increase fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, and our last increase seventeen and eighteen. For row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, and repeat that all the way around. One, two, 
and our increase. Three and four. Five. Six. Increase seven and eight. Nine. Ten. Increase for eleven and twelve. Whoops. Thirteen. Fourteen. And our increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we're going to do three single crochets, one increase all the way around, and repeat that for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and an increase, four, and five. Repeat that over. Six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, 18, and an increase for 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, and 20, whoops, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, increase five and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, increase 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, an increase for 29 and 30. 31, 32, <clears throat> 33, 
34 and an increase, 35 and 36. Whoops. For round seven, we're going to do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. So one, two, three, four, five, and our increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, increase, 20, and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, increase, 27 and 28, 29, oops, 30, 31, 32, 33, and our increase, 34 and 35. This should be our last set, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and our increase, 41 and 42. For rows 8, to 14 we are just gonna do 42 single crochets all the way around and that'll be seven rows I'll do the first row with you Oops. so one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 30, oops, 36, 
37. And the yarn is catching here. 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. Okay, so that would have been row eight. So you're just going to keep continuing on row 9 to 14. Um, so that'll be six more rows. And I will come back and catch you up when we're ready to start row 15. Okay, you should be ready to start row 15, which is going to be five single crochets and one decrease. And you'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, five, and we'll do a decrease for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, decrease 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, decrease 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, whoops, 31, 32, 3, 34, 35, and 36 is a decrease. Row 16 is going to be four single crochets, one decrease all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, four, and five is a decrease. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 is a decrease, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is a decrease, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is a decrease, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is a decrease. 26, 27, 
28, 29, and 30 is a decrease. Row 17 is going to be three single crochets and one decrease all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and four is a decrease, five, six, seven, eight is a decrease, oops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is a decrease, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen is a decrease. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty is a decrease. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four is a decrease. Row eighteen is going to be two single crochets and one decrease for a total of eighteen. One. Two, three is a decrease, four, five, six is a decrease, seven, eight, nine is a decrease. 10, 11, and 12 is a decrease, 13, 14, 15 is a decrease, 16, 17, and 18 is a decrease. So we're going to put this to the side for a minute. And we're going to move on to the arms. Since we're using the same color, you're going to go to the other end of your ball and get the other end of your yarn. And we're going to use that so we don't have to cut this string. We're going to make a loop. And you're going to go in and grab that yarn, pull it back out through, and make your one chain to secure your yarn to your loop. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch. And we're going to do eight single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab your stitch marker if you need one. Rows two and three, we are just going to do eight single crochets all the way around. 
So one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. One more row of eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Row four, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase for a total of 12. One increase, two and three. Four increase, five and six. Seven. Increase eight and nine, ten, and increase eleven and twelve. Rows five and row six, we're going to do twelve single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we got one more row of 12 to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For row seven, we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease for a total of eight. So one and two is a decrease. Three, and four is a decrease, five, and six is a decrease, seven, and eight is a decrease. Now for row eight to row 13, you're just gonna do eight single crochets all the way around. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's six rows. So I am gonna count um, first three rows eight times three. And then I'm gonna do that again for six. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Flip your stitch marker, but keep on counting in sequence. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Flip your stitch marker and count one more time. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's your first three rows of six, and I'm just going to do that again for the next three rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Flip your marker, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Flip your stitch marker, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now you can get rid of your stitch marker. You're going to add a little bit of stuffing into the um, into the this part of the hand, into the hand, I guess, of the arm. So you want the hand to be fairly firm and then you're not going to have any stuffing in in this part of the arm and then you're going to fold it in half and you're going to put three single crochets across the top so you're going to go in both loops of this side both loops on this side and then single crochet and you're just going to do that across so one two and three and then you're going to just tie it off and leave a little bit of a tail for later Okay, so for row 19, we're going to attach the arms. Um, we're going to start with three single crochets. One, two, three, grab one of your arms, um, 
make sure your strings are facing to where the front's going to be. So for your stitch markers in the back, you'll have them facing the other way. Go in your first stitch of your arm and your next stitch of the body. So there's your last stitch right there. So you're going to go into this stitch. I'm going to do three single crochets through the arm and the body. Just double check that you're in the right stitch and you're not putting two in the same stitch or missing a stitch. Then you're going to do six single crochets. So that's where your last stitch was. So you're going to go into this stitch right here. Pull it tight if you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab your second arm. Make sure the string is facing where the front will be. You go in the first stitch of the arm again. And the next stitch of your head. And you're going to do three single crochets through the arm and the body. Try and keep it nice and tight. our third one and then we should have three left so there's our last stitch so we'll go in that one one two and three and we're back to our stitch marker For round 20, we're going to do two single crochets and one increase for a total of 24. So one, two, and an increase, three and four. seven and eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and an increase for fifteen and sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, and an increase, nineteen and twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, and an increase, twenty-three and twenty-four. For rows 21 to 23, we're going to just do 24 single crochets all the way around. So that'll be three rows of 24. One, two, oops, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And I'm just going to keep counting around till I have um, 24 times 3, so 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, so that's two rows, we got one more row, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. And there's our three rows of 24. Row 24 is going to be three single crochets, one increase, and repeat that all the way around. So one, two, three, and increase four and five. Six, seven, eight, increase nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase fourteen and fifteen. 16, 17, 18, increase for 19 and 20, 21, 22, oh, a big naughty mess here. Twenty-three and an increase, twenty-four and twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 
and our increase 29 and 30. Okay, rows uh, 25 to 30 is just 30 single crochets all the way around. So that's six rows. And I am going to let you guys do that on your own. And I will come back for row 31. Okay, you should be done your six rows of 30 single crochet and ready to start row 31. And so for row 31, we're going to do three single crochets and one decrease for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, oops, fourteen, Fifteen and a decrease for sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, decrease for twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. And a decrease for 24. Now, if you're going rogue and off pattern and using safety eyes because you don't want to um, crochet an eye, which I totally get, um, you're going to want to put them in now because we're going to close him up pretty soon. So, just for a reference, if you want to have a look at this guy, um, row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So somewhere around row 10 to 11, you're going to want to put your safety eye on. If you want to <clears throat> wrap these strings up to get them out of your way, we can do that now. put some stuffing in so you're gonna want to fill his head fairly firm but don't stuff it so full that you start stretching the stitches especially down here at the bottom where you were decreasing Pushing it up to get that round shape. Actually use a surprising amount of stuffing. Okay, we're getting close here. Just tuck a little bit around the sides and the bottom of the head. Well, it's pretty good, I think. And we'll put a little bit in his body. The body does not need to be near as firm as his head was. Don't fill it right to the top or you're going to struggle a lot more doing the legs. 
So to get started on the legs, we're just going to set ourselves up with the right amount of stitches and put our little markers in that we need. So you're going to find your center, fold it in half. And you want to find the center on each side. So I'm going to go about there. So this will be the back side. Where's my needle? This will be the back side and then this stitch will be the front side. And we are going to count 12 stitches from this stitch, or I mean six stitches from this stitch over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and this will be the end of your first leg. And you're going to go into the seventh stitch and just place your needle in there for now. And that'll be the first stitch of your second leg. So now we're going to count 12 for the second leg, starting with this first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Put the other end of your needle in there or whatever you're using. And we're just going to tie a string on there so that when we're doing the first leg, we don't touch this second leg at all and go in the wrong stitches. And I'm just going to um, tie a little bow there. However you do it, make sure it's easy to undo because you're going to start running into some space issues when you start getting the going on the legs. So now you should have 12 stitches on this side and 12 stitches on this side. And don't worry how it looks. We got this kind of loose over here. They will be even once we get going because this stitch and this stitch is actually your leg stitch and that brings it in a little bit. Okay, for row one of the leg, we are gonna put 12 single crochets all the way around. And you may be a touch off um, on your stitch count with me. That's okay, as long as you have sti 12 stitches going around. So for me, it's one, two, and we don't go into this stitch. That's where our stitch marker is. We turn around. We don't go into this stitch where our stitch marker is. We'll go into this one. So for me, it's three and you can pull that tight if you need to. Four. Well, that one definitely needs to be pulled tighter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that should bring you right back around to put your next stitch in your next row where your stitch marker is. Oop. Okay, so rounds five to six, we're just gonna do 12 single crochets all the way around. So round two, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Move your stitch marker. So round three. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Flip your stitch marker. Round four, we'll do another twelve all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Round five, another twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and our last row, row six. One, two, whoops, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that'll be that was row one to six. Now for row seven, we are going to do one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18. So one, two, and three for our increase, four, increase, five and six, Seven, increase eight and nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase fourteen and fifteen. 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. For row eight, we're just gonna do 18 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now we're going to add our stuffing. You're going to want this to be a bit on the firm side because he's going to be standing on his legs. And you may have to go up in here a little bit um, just so you don't have like a, a kink or a crinkle there in the leg. When you get to the end of your leg, you want the stuffing to be straight across, kind of flat, even. Ooh, I'm getting that up in the tummy instead of the leg. Kind of even, so it's straight across here. I think I'm going to have to up that a little bit. Because you want this to be flat when you close it and, and not round. And he will kind of stand up on his own if you manipulate him a little bit. You can always add a little bit extra once you're done um, the last round before you close up if you need to. Let's see how this goes. I have enough already, but that might be in my way. Okay, so for round nine, we're going to go in the back loop. So instead of going through here, we're going to go down through here and we're going to grab that stitch and go through there. And we are going to do one single crochet and one decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one and decrease, two, and it might be tricky, just take your time, it's not a rush, three, And an increase for whoop, five and your increase six seven. And increase for eight. Nine. And increase for ten. Eleven. And your last increase, or decrease, sorry. I hope I've been saying decrease and not increase for 12. Okay, we have one more row. If you feel like you need to add stuffing, you can add a little more or you can wait till we're done the next round. So for round 10, we're just going to do six decreases and just the normal way through under both Bs. So one decrease, two, Decreases, three decrease, four decreases, five decreases, and our last six decrease. Then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And we'll tie that off and cut it with a little bit of a tail. stitch marker out. 
decide if you have enough stuffing in there. Remember you want this line to be the bottom. So we want this to be flat and we will be pulling this up. So if it's a little bit up, we will fix that when we tie the legs together. So just um, go in and out through your last six stitches. I'm going through the front loop. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but being that it's on the bottom, you're not really going to see it. So it kind of doesn't matter to me anyway at the moment. Then you're going to give that a tie somewhere close where you can hide it inside. Maybe right there. And I'm only tying it once because I'm going to be tying both strings together from the other foot. So I'll be, I'm confident that I don't have to worry about this not too much. And then you're just going to put it up and out through here somewhere. And pull on that so that knot you just made kind of gets hidden down in your stitches. Okay, I'm going to start you on your second leg and then I will leave you to finish it because it'll be exactly the same as this one. So grab your, um, your yarn and this time you want to leave yourself like about 12 inches or so of um, a tail on the end because once you're done your legs, you're going to use this end to tie the little hole that gets left right here. So I'm going to leave my stitch marker in for the first round. We're just going to make a loop. This one you want on a little bit smaller side. So your, your hook just fits in there. And I'm going to apologize in advance if I go off camera here because I, uh, I'm working with my arms straight out. No, uh, nothing to rest my elbows on or nothing. So I'm kind of like shaky all over the place here around this camera. Okay, so we're going to start our first stitch right, right close to the center of um, where the other leg is. Just so when we get to tying this, we're not pulling our string from way over here to tie here and bringing our, our leg over like this. So it doesn't matter. One, two, three stitches in. I'm going to do the second stitch from my stitch marker. And you're just going to... Um, Attach that with a slip stitch. Oop. I don't make it look easy, but it should be. And leave this string out so it's accessible at the end when you go to tie the hole up. Okay, so you're going to do one single crochet where you just made that slip stitch. Oh, you think I've never done this before. I feel like starting over. I don't know what I did here. Sorry about that. I think I had my uh, knot on the wrong side somehow. So you want that on the inside. So don't worry if you're struggling. It's um, oh yeah, see that looked better. Okay. Now we're going to do our first single crochet. We're going to have 12 all the way around. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. All these strings in our way here. Nine, ten, and the the first row is the the hardest. Just trying to keep the tension right. Eleven, 
my 11 is going um, right in the where I have that stitch marker because that's the end of the second leg right there where you marked earlier that's 11 and also again don't worry if it's not your 11th stitch just make sure you have 12 stitches all the way around so turn and I'm going in my last stitch where I also marked from before and that'll be 12 whoops sorry see how <laughs> looks like I'm really struggling here hopefully it's not quite as awkward for you guys okay I'm around at 12 so I'm gonna get rid of this so I have a, that's not in our way and we'll just use this as our new stitch marker for our leg And then where you'd slip stitched and single crocheted at the beginning of the round, that is where you're going to be putting your next stitch of the next round. So right in there. Okay, so I am going to leave you to finish this leg and I'll come back to start tying in all the strings. Um, so um, it'll be exactly the same as this leg. Row one to six. 12 single crochets and then your um, finish your foot and I will put that try and remember anyway to put that up here you can just pause the screen for a second and finish the leg and then I will join you back um, in a couple of minutes okay so we're gonna start the eye but I didn't realize I'm in the middle of making something with my black, so I'm going to have to um, use the back end. So bear with me if I have to stop and detangle. So for right now, my next project is just going to sit here and watch us while we use the rest of his string. So we're just going to make a loop. You want that to be fairly tight so you don't see it through um, onto his head, the brown on his head. And we're going to, hopefully you can see this black. Never thought about that. Let's see. We're going to do our chain one to attach our yarn, which does not count as a stitch. Let's put this down. And then we're just going to do six single crochets into this loop. So one, two, three, four, five. and six and for our second row we're just going to do increases and I know you can't see it but it's just like we started every other round we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around so increase one for one and two increase again for three and four Another increase, five and six. Another increase, seven and eight. Another increase, nine and ten. And our last increase, eleven and twelve. And then you're just going to slip stitch 
and leave yourself enough of a tail to sew that all the way around. So I just pull my arm all the way, almost all the way out to the side and that should give you more than enough. With a little cross in his eye, if you're making um, the bow, I'm going to match the X to the bow. So this one I did white because I wasn't thinking of it before. Um, and this one, I, the one I'm doing now, I'm going to do pink. So I'm going to use pink to do the little X. So just cut a little tiny piece. Whatever color you're doing the bow. If you're not doing the bow, use white or any color, even brown, like you did the body. And I start mine on the side, so I'm going to leave this over here to start my X. And you're just going to go in and down. And then try and make that even. So you want to go in the middle, so close to the middle. I'm a little off the middle here, but. And then back down kind of in the middle again. When I say middle, I mean this way. And then there's your little X. And then just tie that. Don't pull it too tight or you're gonna kind of mess up your X on the other side. Just check it. I mean, I guess kind of messy is okay for for this guy anyway. I'll give that a snip. Oops, almost lost my needle there. And then we're going to pin him on. I wish that was on the other way, but... So my eye, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I started just under the ninth row, but it could be a little higher. So I'm probably going to put it on top of the ninth row. Can you just stand for me nicely? Come on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I said the top of the ninth row, didn't I? And then I'm just gonna find the center of his head. Just kind of be line up between his legs and go up kind of about a on a ninety degree. And that's going to be where the center of his head is. I might move it there. Mark that a few times if you need to. Then we're just going to pin his eye about two stitches over from the center. So. One, two, and about there. Not really going to matter a lot. They could be crooked. They could be one eye higher, one eye lower. Um, you can use a button also if you didn't want to do this, but I guess we're kind of too far in for me to mention that now. One, two... Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So we're just going to pin that on. I like to keep my X so it's straight. I don't know why I'm reaching halfway across the table for my pins. Okay. 
And we're just gonna sew that on. And what I do is I like to go under my eye so that you don't see the stitches usually. But for this guy, you could go across a couple stitches over so you, it looks like his eye was stitched on. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay to how I usually do it. Ooh, we forgot to tie them strings up, didn't we? So you're just gonna go underneath into a stitch of the round of the, of the head. And then you're gonna come up into the next stitch. Move your pins if you need to. And always keep checking that they're kind of staying where they're supposed to. So under and up. And then if you can go up in your stitch as you're doing this, that's awesome. But I tend to move my eye around when I try that. So I got to do it kind of twice the hard way. So you just keep doing that all the way around. I'm one pinned in the way. Okay, I'll let you guys finish that off and then we'll come back and do the little X for the other side of his face. For the X part, you're going to leave a little bit of a tail and then you're going to just make a knot and you're just going to chain about six single or um, chain six. I guess. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're gonna tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail because we're gonna use these to tie it on. If it's a little bit long, that's okay. You can pull it in. Um, Pull it inside if you need to. So make your second one. Just another little knot with a loop. Whoops. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Tie that off with a little bit of a tail. And this part will just be a little bit trial and error just to get your X how you want it. But you're going to want it to start even with this. So we went over one, two, and I have a half. So one, two, and a little bit. And then you'll go up to your ninth row that matches. And I'm just going to put a pin in there. I should put a pin in there with that. And then you're going to pull it down at about a 45 degree angle and line it up with the bottom of this eye. So I think you can go about there. And you're just going to come up in the middle where they're going to crisscross. I'm not going to tie this yet just in case I'm off. But, ooh. Actually, that might be way too wide. It's okay. I'm going to bring that in one stitch. That pin did absolutely no good.
And then you're going to bring your other end the same way you just did that one. And do the same hole you brought your thread out. And I hope it's not too far over. So just pull that how you want it. And I need to hold it to get that knot in there a bit. That knot doesn't want to go in. Well, this knot will, so. And then you'll get to your other one and do the same thing. row and on the row even with the bottom of the eye kind of even with this and then I'm going to bring that out a different hole just so I can tie them both separately. This looks confusing, but right where you have your pin and then up through where you took your other side out. And if you're happy with that, which I'm going to have to be, I think they're a little wide, but you can also kind of smush his face a bit to make it look not quite as bad. And then you're just going to tie those and pull them through the back of the head. While I'm doing this, I should ask you all a question, especially if you've done a few of my videos. I tend to spend a lot of time doing like the, the end stuff, like the embroidery and the sewing the parts on. And it actually adds a good half hour or more to my video. So I'm wondering do you guys need to see this? Do you like to see this? Would you like if I sped it up a little bit? I assume most of you would already know how to do this and you're not beginners. If you are beginners, I'd love to hear what you think. Okay. So at all this cutting and sewing and stuff let's finish up our um, all our other ends and get them out of here oh, where that's attached oops sorry camera okay for the hole here in the middle, which I should have done before the eye. You're gonna go to the back and you're just gonna go in and out. So let's see if I can show you here. So I'm gonna go in this hole here, across to the matching hole on the other side. And you just give that a little tug and then you're going to do on the stitch beside it exactly the same and then you're just going to go back and forth a couple of times like that and then just give it a little tie Throw 
that in and out, out the back somewhere. Let's do that for our legs. So we want to pull them a little bit so you're, um, you're making them a little on the flatter side. And then you're just going to tie that fairly tight. Don't break your strings though. And then you're just also going to weave that down into the body somewhere and um, bring it up through. So it's going there. And just give it a bit of a pull and kind of manipulate that hole there so it's not quite as obvious. Okay, what do we have left here? Oh, these guys. So if you still have your strings left, I'm gonna show you why I leave them like this instead of weaving them in when I'm done my arms. So thread your yarn and you're going to go down in the stitch, the last stitch that that came out of. So right about there. And there's your last stitch. So just go in there, out the middle of the back somewhere. I usually tend to be right around the neckline. We'll do that with the other arm. So our last stitch came right out of here. See. You can if you need to just double check that it's even with the other, and it is. Bring that out the same hole in the back. And then you're just gonna tug on them a little bit to bring them arms in, hide the knot, and make them a little more um, secure and less floppy and personally I like to look at that if you don't you don't have to do it that way obviously then you're just going to give them a tie on the tighter side but not so much that you're really pulling them in further than you want them And then just pull that out through the back of the body somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to do the mouth with you and then I'm going to let you do your um, stitches on your own on the body wherever you want them and the little belly button if you're going to add that. What I'm doing is I'm getting a really long chunk of thread and I'm going to do the mouth, come down, do a stitch, do the belly button, do another stitch. Um, but if you want to do the mouth and then get a new thread for here and through here, um, that works too. So I like the mouth to end. How do I have it even with the eye row and kind of in the middle of the arm. That's where I'm going to start. And then I'm going to do that on the other side, around the eye row and about the middle of the arm. 
and then I'm going to pin down from the center to where I want the bottom line of my mouth and it's, it doesn't really matter I'm going to put mine about there I may move it once I get in there so it's one two it's three rows down from the eye one two whoops one two and that's where I have it on the other one too so So you're just going to come somewhere just off from the eye a little bit, or from your pin. And you're going to go down to your center pin. Can you see that? And you're going to pull almost, almost all of your thread out. Oh, how's that in there? So leave uh, two inches or so. See, I grabbed a lot. <laughs> okay, so leave about that much. We're going to tie that in the end, and uh, you won't see that. And I'm going to come up to this other pin and come in that same hole. If you do it this way, instead of going like to that pin, then your um, yarn doesn't really pull. Um, in the center where you have that and then you don't have that little space see the, the two yarns are kind of twisting around here now instead of one yarn pulling one way and one yarn pulling the other way so now we're going to go over to this side and I'm going to start my stitches now so when I come out I'm just going to come up here kind of by the eye a little bit. Sorry, I think I had that out of the camera. But and the stitches I just try and keep at a ninety degrees from from the other. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, too much how far apart or close together they are. Uh, maybe the crookeder the better. I have a problem with evenness, so mine are probably going to be fairly. Actually, I'm already making them uneven. Watch when you're pulling through your stuffing, it's going to try and want to come out. I think when I did the first one, I went every two stitches, and I'm not really counting my stitches because my guy is so far away from me at the moment. I think I want him up there. And I'm right at, this is my center here. So now I am going to try and do it fairly evenly to match that side on the way back. Um, also, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to remind you if you want to like and subscribe and leave a comment, let me know if you're enjoying my videos. Um, I also, did I go too far? No, that's that one. One, two. Have a Facebook page that you can, uh oh. Oh well, he's not getting even anyway. I also have a Facebook page that you can go to and if you wanna share your work with me, I will have a link in the description. And another question, where's my center? I really did something wrong here. I don't know. Um, I was thinking about making standing and sitting basically the same pattern. And I'm wondering what you guys think 
if I were to add it to a video, like do the standing legs and then you skip ahead if you want to do the sitting legs. Or should I make a totally separate video, which will be basically the same pattern until I start the legs and then just do the sitting legs. So this is, this is what the sitting guy looks like. He can kind of look like he's standing, but he doesn't look as nice, I don't think. Anyway, it's an option I'm thinking about. Okay, I'm not happy with that mouth, but that's how she's staying. I just decided she's turned into a girl with her little pink eye, I guess. <laughs> then you're just going to tie this up and put it in. Sorry, now I got my... I forget where I keep pointing my camera. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that. Oh shoot. Oh well. Okay, now I'm going to do my stitches, and did I leave a heart? I didn't. Ouch. Ooh, I can't get up. I'll be right back. I'm still here, adding more time to my video. Um, sorry. I've got these little, I think they're just from the dollar store. These little hearts. I don't have it on this guy now, but when I do my photos, he'll be on. Um, eh. Out. And I'm just going to put them here. Probably glue them on. Um, if you want to put a heart on, you can also just cut a chunk of felt or fabric. You can stitch that on or you can glue that on. I'm assuming these aren't going to be kid-friendly toys. Um, I mean, they could be, but if um, they're not going to a kid, I'd just glue them on. Okay, so finish your stitching. And then we'll come back and we'll do the hair and then the bow tie. Okay, all our stitching's done. And now we're going to add, if you're going to add some hair, all I did was cut some strings about six to eight inches long in the black to match. It doesn't have to be. Um, so that's three. Did I only do three? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I know did three. Even better. And then usually I will use my hook, put them in and around and tie a knot. But this time I wanted them to kind of go around this circle here. So I'm just going to kind of evenly put them through the six stitches that we made. Um, actually, you might even look kind of cute not tying these. Um, if you do it a different way, I'd love to see how you did it. There's so many ways. <laughs> actually, yeah. Well, I mean, you'd have to fix it a bit, but there's so many things you could do differently. And we're just going to get them all even. We're going to trim them a bit later, so it's okay if they're a little long. And we're just going to tie a knot. If you made them long enough, this won't be too hard. If you made them a little short, it might almost be worth recutting more threads. 
there's his little hairs. You can cut them if you want. Can't get my camera any higher. Want them to hang down? Actually, if this being a girl, maybe I will. I'll just leave them. They're not even even. I'm just going to leave them like that. And we will do the bow next, I think. Yeah, everybody's falling over. For the bow tie, we are going to take our yarn and we're going to leave a little bit of a tail, 6 to 12 inches long. We're just going to tie a knot with a loop on the end. And we are going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then starting in the second chain from the hook, we're going to do six single crochets all along. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to turn our work. Maybe we'll chain one, I can't remember. And we're going to do six single crochets along this side. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to just tie that off with a bit of a string at the end there. And we'll have a little bit of a rectangle going on at the moment. And we're going to take one of our... Th um, <clears throat> threads and we're just gonna kind of weave it down into the center oh, it's really tight pull that knot down but you don't want to pull it so tight that you don't have a point there you're going to get your other side. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to just weave it down to the center. Give them a tie. You want your knot to be in the middle of your bow tie. The first one you don't want to do too tight because you don't want to pull them ends in. And then as you tie a couple more knots, slowly make them a little bit tighter. And one more. Or I can't remember what I did. I should have watched my own video. <laughs> so now let's pinch that, wrap it around a couple of times to make it look like a bow. Then you're going to tie it again to hold that in there nice and tight. tie and there you 
you have your little bow. And I am just going to tie it up around her hair. I don't know how you're going to see that. I might have to do it off camera, but wrap it around a couple of times. Let's try doing it sideways. And then take the other end, wrap it around a couple of times. But we want to go the opposite way, don't we? I'm sorry, you guys can't really see this. When you're happy with how you have it wrapped, not happy with that. There we go. Just give it a tie on the back. Um, permanent or temporary, do a bow or a knot. And then just hide your ends down inside. And now we're back somewhere. If you're going to do the bow tie, all I did was tie it around his neck. Oh, I said that ends in there too. Tie it around his neck there. Um, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to um, subscribe, uh, like, and comment. Um, let me know what you thought of the video and happy crocheting.